Greetings, everyone out there. Thanks for checking in to this, uh, our latest conversation <laughs> with three Black Pride grads. My name is Kenneth Nelson. I'm here with my good friends, Mark Skinner and Greg Claycoin. Um, where are we? Yeah, we're all graduates of the Fine Art Photography Program at Pride Institute uh, in Brooklyn, New York. And each of us brings decades of professional photography experience uh, in various sectors of the commercial photography world. In this episode, we're going to be doing one of our photographic word associations. This is when a word is chosen and each of us chooses to represent the essence of that word in a photograph or photographs in any way we see fit. I hope you viewers can pick up on the essence of what's going on here when matching a photograph to words. Uh, if you have any questions about what you've seen, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. We'll be happy to reply. Uh, with that, Mark is the first to go up, and let me set him up now with uh, his image. I think we lost Mark. Is he there? Nope, you didn't. Uh, Ken said that the word for uh, this conversation was going to be flight. Thank you. And shown so many different iterations of airplanes. Uh, in these conversations, I decided to do something a little bit different. And uh, this this particular episode, I, I created a studio photograph of a uh, of a broom uh, just under the moon at night, flying through the sky, and that is my uh, image for flight. Besides, it's October, so Halloween's coming up, and uh, it made sense. And I think this particular uh, image was really inspired by uh, all the space travel, the civilian space travel that we witnessed this summer. Uh, you know, Elon Musk and uh, uh, Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson. And uh, so I guess this was my way of sort of uh, riding along on their bandwagon. Kudos, kudos. Uh, cool shot. Cool shot. Um, and, the, and the underlying context that goes with it, with a broom. Well, oh, obviously it's still about witches, you know, witches flying right. like, through the night, that, that kind of thing. Or, yeah. or yeah. witches, warlocks, that kind of deal. Yeah, cool, cool, good. Thanks, Thanks for bringing that. And I, I mean, you worked on this recently, right? So it wasn't something you had... In your, no, in your no, I did, I did, I did this yesterday. Uh, I, you know, well, we happen to have a, uh, a straw broom, uh, which is one of the best types of brooms to use. Ironically, it's it's an ancient technology, but it works really well. And that photograph of the moon was a photograph that I had taken uh, about a year or two ago. Uh, uh, and, and 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 I don't want to get into tech too much, but. It's with a normal lens and a Hasselblad, and okay. the the acuity that you get is so fantastic that I was able to take that photograph, print it out, cut the white borders off the print, take wow. it to my background, and then set up my broom uh, in front of the background and take a live photograph. So okay. that's not a uh, photo composite. That's one shot. I did retouch a little bit of the, uh, the areas where you could see the, the paper cut, uh, and, and paste it onto the background. Uh, but I also uh, had some uh, canned smoke that I had uh, purchased for another photograph that I never got to do because the pandemic hit and it was going to be something else. So uh, that's how you get that little bit of atmosphere between the moon and the room. Okay. Well, you just gave away your secret. <laughs> you know that, right? It's not a secret. It's just, you know. <laughs> Well, it's a background. I mean, I built a background and set up a broom. I mean, you know, put yeah. some lights on it. It's not really a secret. It's just, right. So and I'm different. not. I'm not meaning that as something that someone doesn't know, but someone doesn't know the way to do it the way you did it. They may yeah. come about it in a different way, and this might just be a shortcut for them. Well, so, but it's it's so it's a composite, but just not a digital composite. So yeah, it's, well, it's not a composite. I built a background. Yeah, but I know. I know what you're saying. Yeah, a uh, little bit of Jerry Ullsman in there, just a little bit. No, it's not darkroom work. I mean, it's no, just, but yeah. the essence of the work is, I think it's. I, I, I understand. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mark, for that. I appreciate it. Good looking out. Greg, you're up next, right? Okay. So we're going to show your first mm -hmm. image, one of I'm two. Up huh? I'm up next, right? Yes, you are. There you go. Right. Yeah, let's, let's keep it rolling. Nice shot, Mark. Very nice. I'm, I'm really Thank feeling you. that one. Um, 
Too bad you didn't get anybody from Hogwarts or something. <laughs> um, yeah, right. They're, they're all playing Quidditch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I guess uh, my, my first shot, um, I got these, uh, you know, being out here in Cali, living the Cali life, I got, um, there's like a lot of hummingbirds. And, you know, unless you see one, you know, face to face, it's really hard to appreciate how they're like bug size, you know, they're, they're not very big. You know? And uh, when you said flight, I, I had to throw some props toward the moment, hummingbirds. Did, uh, did the screen freeze, Ken? Are you there? Yeah, yeah. We got you. Okay. I'm still seeing Ken uh, Mark's I still picture. see my, my photo is still uh, up there. Oh, geez. I, this is the second time I've done this. I apologize, guys. Uh, no worries. That... Live recording, huh? Yeah, That's okay. I apologize. That's the second time this happened in two weeks. So there we go. Very nice. Um, Oh, I just got to notice the Seahawks and the Niners are close in the fourth quarter. Ah! Okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the first thing is, is great about just, just the energy and the uh, flight control that they show. You know, I always wanted to be a pilot back in the day, but, you know, life has a way of doing what it does. So um, not a bird. I mean, a real pilot. But anyway, uh, they're, they're, uh, what, what uh, struck me is... Uh, they come in so many different uh, colors. Their their feathers are like this iridescent, uh, like kind of like a peacock's feather. They're very bright. This one's like a bright green and had a red head, and um, it was just just fun to see, you know. And uh, I was able to capture a pretty decent shot of it. And uh, that's one entry for flight. Go ahead, next one. I was also uh, thinking of uh, flights of fancy. I, I took another picture. It looked like wings but i didn't show that one there's actually a, a log in water but um this one you know that that uh, spiritual flight that kind of kind of um came across uh my mind when i thought of uh your um topic and uh i mean flight is kind of important to me and then uh, spirituality is also um you know something the journey that i'm going through so uh i liked you know this this idea of you know this angel with the with the painted saints on it. So um, I want to throw that one in the mix. But uh, it's a good topic. I, I that. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but it also uh, lends itself to you know imagination. I, I'm I'm very impressed and happy that uh, Mark came up with that that cool shot of the broom and the moon. That's very very cool. Okay, that's all I got. Yeah, I, I one one of the things I think is kind of key here is that the information that you're relaying in terms of flight is not a literal flight because the statue is not in motion; it, it's static, and I, I think that's really a, a a good perspective for someone to get, which is there are various forms of the uh, word flight uh, could mean the actual technical ability to fly where it's actually not in flight. Uh, in this particular instance, you know, one is apt to go to the act of flying, but not to the point in which someone is able to fly, but not necessarily in flight at the time that is happening. So I think that's a very interesting dynamic to play because the well, way you is give it the impression that this thing is able to fly. Right, you're getting to the, the, the implication of flight. The implication, yeah really it's really cool to see that because some minds automatically go to no it's got to be up in the air and it's got to be doing it but in this well, but also with this particular sculpture and the paintings in the wings there are yeah. beings that are flying right so it's not entirely implied as much as well, it's shown it's illustrated twice within the sculpture I, and then the figure that we photograph that he's photographed is implied so it's both simultaneous well, okay, I'll diff I'll beg to differ on that one because I think the people the the figures in the painting could be reclining, but I'll, I'll just beg to differ on that one. Um, but yes, I can see your point, and I'll 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 agree to that possibility as well. Oh, I right? meant the ones at the top, not the ones. The at ones the at the top. Yeah, the ones at the bottom look like they're reclining. Yes. Okay. All right, Greg, you look surprised. No, no, I'm I'm just looking at the looking at the picture again. Um, 
I mean, I like, I just like the concept, you know, the spiritual flight. And okay. You can, I okay. say that old song, uh, the Disney song or something, you know, with, your, with your feet on the ground, you can, your bird in flight, holding onto your kite, whatever it is. But yeah, yeah, I like that. And it's spiritual flight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, I thought that was very bad. Okay, cool. Is that it for you? Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Okay. All right, then I will take over the reins and hopefully we can switch to my image, which didn't show up. So I understand what's going on here. Okay, I'll show you share. Well, no, it's the, yeah, well, I'll show you it's a technical thing. So yes, I went the literal route for one of two images and I just thought that this was a keen way to sort of show flight, but you know, I like the human interaction uh, this is uh, a, a person who is typical in the park and does this uh, daily. And um, so it's a very intriguing place to be to photograph uh, birds in flight. So. Well, I, I know this individual is very aware of the, the quality of the image that they're helping you uh, create. You know, they, they, you know they're, they're posed just so, you know, so that the three quarters of their face is... is you know, you can see the sunglasses on both sides. They're not turned away from you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they, they understand that you want a great photograph of them. They're, they're as happy to provide that image for you as they are to be the subject of your image taking process. So it, it's pretty neat. Yeah. Actually, this person has a genuine adoration, love of pigeons. And each one has a name and he calls them by name and they respond. So that just kicks it up another notch. So uh, he goes to the place every day? Is that, is that the case? Uh, he, he did from what I remember, but I haven't, this photograph is a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. uh, but from what I remember, he's still there. Okay, so, very good. Yep. Yeah, Washington Square? Yes, yeah, Washington Square Park. And just a, a point of information, actually I, I moved around him uh, to get perspectives on it. So this is one of the perspectives I did. And there were about mm -hmm. maybe six or seven different perspectives, but this is the one I edited it down to, just for clarity, just to make sure everybody knows. This is not a one-off, it was a series of images, and I had to go through an edit to figure out which one I think purposely uh, achieved the goal of the word flight, but also mm -hmm. achieved the goal of what I thought was a dynamic image. I agree. I mean, all the, all the stuff that's going on in the background is very much uh, part of the Pratt aesthetic that we learned, you know, how to juxtapose uh, these different planes of focus. Uh, you know, the two people having a conversation in the middle and between him and the, the pigeon that uh, looks like it's about to land. The one, and, and how the legs and the head of the person behind the pigeon that's about to land are, are just... You know, they look like they're actually part of the bird. So at one point, you 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 feel like you're looking at an individual that has uh, wings behind them, and and then you also realize that no, no, that's the bird's down yeah. flap of uh, a flight. So it's pretty yeah. cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so I'll go to the second one, uh, and this is a very early image of mine. Uh, very very early. <laughs> And I like the implied notations of flight. Uh, if you've ever been to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and you know that this is a helium balloon, but it's not a helium balloon because it's not the balloon itself. It's just the shadow of the balloon. And yes. so the implied notion of flight is there. And so that's my uh, ode to the word flight. Ah, but at the lower left, the lower right hand corner, there's the lady looking directly at us as if to say, do you believe it? They just put a shadow there. <laughs> I, lo I love I love, it. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, yep. A very long time ago. I won't you know if the date's already in the file name, so you can figure do it out. You, do you remember what do you remember which uh, which balloon this was? This was Garfield the cat. Garfield. Oh, yeah. I thought it might be Snoopy, but Snoopy has the helmet. Yeah. Garfield. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So, okay. all right. It's timeless. It's still a cool shot. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's one of those images where, you know, when you go home and you edit it, you've 
picked something or you've taken something really unique and uh, to me to this day I'm still using it as a as a point of reference for one of the one of the earlier shots that I think is very successful and I, I just sort of I'll just zoom, I think I can zoom in here a bit I just love the fact that the people are in the windows oh yeah <laughs> all right so there are people in the windows all along even here it's a, new york oh. event. It's a very cool new york event yeah yeah okay with that we've run into our allotment of time and uh so i just want to uh close it out by asking if uh, either of you guys have any questions or thoughts on the word flight or anything that we've seen in these images besides what we haven't already discussed no, I'm good. I just like the word association. It's a good, good topic. I'm sorry, Greg. Can you say that one more time? You dropped out. You said, said I like, I like the word, word association. Yeah. Okay. I don't I'm think how that he liked the word association, and this is a good topic. Okay. 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 Great. Great. Uh, okay. Good. Uh, for you, our viewers, we thank you for tuning in. Um, if you have any questions, um, again, leave a comment. We'll answer the questions. Also, please subscribe because we're doing these um, conversations weekly. And you can also join in the conversation just by asking a question. All right. My name is Kenneth Nelson. I'm here with Greg Claycomb and Mark Skinner, three Black Pratt grads. We thank you for joining. Thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.